crazy what Conti Coleman's barn girl. I feel hungover, but uh, I am not, as far as I know, although this is the evidence of last night. It must be the caffeine-free Diet Coke, Not too much popcorn while watching uh, The Fall with uh, Gillian Anderson on Netflix. But I've got the coffee brewing. I've got the New Orleans Community Coffee Brewing. Doing a little cleaning. This is for a little later. Pasta. Basic DC. Uh, big day at the comic book store. Let's take a look at that. I've never spent this much on comics. Twenty dollars I spent today. Maybe twenty-one dollars actually. Of course, I had to pick up the uh, the new Star Wars from Marvel. I went with the variant cover. I got and Solo uh, as an action figure. I got the Luke one a month ago. Swamp Thing. That's my number one. That's a uh, DC. Um, Saga coming out from uh, Image. I think it's Image Comics. This is great. This is this guy's awesome. Goose, I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, dirty, funny, just really great. There's a uh, four compilation books before that, and then this one is. A, I'm going to delve into this world. This is Ant Man, Prelude. There's going to be a movie with Paul Rudd of all things. This is Ant Man Two, kind of a Japanese cover variant, and then this is Ant Man One. It's on the stickler. For Continuity. I'm also a stickler for fish, so this is uh, part two of Ikea's giant fish ocean voyage. That's, of course, last night's, which was, uh, I'd say hit or miss. You know, the seaweed was interesting. The taste like caviar, the fish row, um, the uh, herring in the sour cream was really the highlight, and I put it on bread. Speaking of bread, I'm going to be putting on bread today, some fish, but I'm going to go with some lardo. Some Il Buco and now it's uh, Il Buco Alimentari. They're uh, very hard not to spend these dollars. Alright, let's see what we got here. We have, uh, this will go on with the lardo. Wax Crawl Scott, number 302-422-121418-10. That's how you tell things that, uh, Ikea. Hit or miss experiences at Ikea. Really. I didn't really want to go in the first place. This, I mean, look how happy that guy is. This is Callus Cream Smoked Rail. I'm looking forward to squeezing that onto my toothbrush. And this is Scarp Skill Anchovy Style Sprout Fillets. Bread from, um, bread from uh, Whole Foods. Sliced. Actually, not even, I think, Whole Foods. Uh, sent out for this one. I've never seen this bread before. Beautiful shape. Had to fit into two bags. Uh, so somewhere else made this bread. But, um, I guess, you know, first off, Warwick Parker Glass is inside. Bono has a condition. I do not. I guess I'm just Ikea fished hungover. Let's put the lardo on. First lardo is creme de la creme of pig fat. This is uh, whipped and is absolutely sublime. Sublimation is the uh, process by which solids turn immediately to gases. Is that right? I think so. Um, bypassing the liquid state. And lardo, a good whipped lardo is much like that where you get this, it's not meaty, don't think it's meaty, it's, it's, you just get this amazing kind of sheen and mouthfeel where it's very uh, distinctive, it's very rich, uh, slippery, but um, not, like, not gross fat. It's not like the grip of a good hamburger. Uh, how do you open this thing? Um... All right, so one of the sandwiches is going to be this. The, what appears to be smoked salmon. Really, herring seems to be their mainstay, though, for the fish, both at Ikea and perhaps in uh, Sweden. I don't know. I've never been to Sweden. I would love to go. Take this out. All right, here we are. One nice thing about smoked salmon is it the contours of the fish. I know that seems like an odd thing to say, but this is complete. This is not reconstituted. At one point, the fish was in this shape prior 
to it volunteering to go to America and be served for five dollars at an IKEA superstore. Look at that. This might be the largest slice ever. I better go for the other, the smaller of the two. Look, at, that is amazing, right? I mean, that is just going to envelop my entire. And I have enough left over for lunch and dinner. Um, salmon is not one of the fishes I go to on the uh, Kaitan sushi wheel. Uh, I enjoy it, uh, mostly with avocado and a hand roll. But uh, smoked salmon, of course, and from Russ Dodders or somewhere else, I really, really get into that smoky flavor. It makes it all the worthwhile. I'm wondering if I should break it out. I might as well break it open the scarf skill. Uh, well, you know what I'll do? I'll put this on first. Let's prepare the toothpaste tube like collis. I'll squeeze from the bottom. Hopefully, you're going to be able to see this. I wish I could shoot and squeeze at the same time, but this is a, this tube is. Oh, look at that. There it goes. It's like. Uh, Easy squeeze cheese, except it's salmon roe. Do you think I should uh, spread it around or just leave it as is? Let's take a little cheat. Oh my, that's pretty good. What's that tastes like reconstituted uh, smoked salmon. Um, but it's roe, and it's creamed, and then it's smoked. Uh, you know what? Let's just go like that. Let's. Uh, I know, you know, it looks like funfetti or spray cheese or something else, but whatever. All right, we have prepared two sandwiches. I could have had uh, Siggy's for breakfast, which I love. The uh, Skur, which is also Nordic, but not it's from Sweden. That's our bad boys up. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Here we are. Beautiful silvery fish, almost the entire fish. That is a nice looking fish there. As the oil drops off of it onto my shirt. Mm. As predicted. That one escaped. Mm. Wow. You gotta be honest, these are amazing. These are uh, his little bone. Um, not mackerel-like in their fishiness. It's a lot of oil, but it's really very clean and fresh. It makes me think uh, it'd be nice to have a napkin somewhere. Um, wow! I mean, that was delicious. That was really, really good. It was uh, tangy. Uh, salty in just the right way. It slid down. All right, uh, better get to these. I, I want to go back to that, but mm. smoked, creamed, row the original. Really nice. Salty in a salty way, but uh, mm, really good. I gotta stir the coffee. Now they say. Some say you're supposed to do this, stir it, agitate it, but only with a, a wooden utensil prior to plunging. I like to plunge. Oop. All right, hang on. There we are. Yeah, that's, I think the agitation helped. It's only my agitation to not have coffee yet. No, just cannot, I can't even see in the Warby Parkers if. A lot of cream. I had to use the rest of that half and half. Netflix mug from inside the uh, movie watching championship uh, I don't know, tent. I don't know what you'd call it. The uh, the building that was made in Times Square when I was in the movie watching championship. Mm -hmm. I had a little New Orleans in the morning. And now let's take a bite of the uh, the premiere item. Smoked salmon, Wardo, uh, call this. Uh, this is not poor man's surf and turf. That would be like tuna on gravy. This is definitely an acquired, this is an eccentric man's surf and turf. Mm.
Mm. Wow. You get a lardo off the bat. You get that ice cream like fatty taste, but then but then the salmon comes back with a little little smack. Smackety smack. Anyway, this is nibble. Uh, why nibble? Because a bite is too small. Dinner's too much. But a breakfast of IKEA seafood is just right. And as always with this seafood, some assembly was required. So I'm sorry this video is so long. You gotta go read Ant Man. Good luck, Paul Red.